Hi, Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles is here. And look, I understand that this is a very seri um, sensitive subject uh, between men and women, but when has it never been a sensitive subject? I mean, wow. We've been having problems with women, as far as men goes, because I speak from a man's perspective, for centuries. They've always been bitches. When have they never been bitches? But today it's really getting out of line with these feminists and these um, feminists. I have a lot of issues with those cunts. And they are big time cunts. And the funny thing is, they know they're cunts. Anyway, I don't act. Uh, uh, and just to make things clear, I don't. I can't say the word. I have a slight speech impediment. Um, I don't adjudicate, it's the best word I could come up with, violence toward anyone, men, women, or UFOs. But the thing is that the women today are pushing the men to a level that I have never seen in my life. There is so much disrespect with these cunts, these feminists, and these spreading their word of hate and discontent because what these women want is they want to take over the world. They want men to be slaves to them. They want to have prison camps and uh, facilities uh, to imprison men and they'll walk around. I've, I've said this a long time ago. It's just like Nazi Germany. They wanted, you know, they're going to have the feminist prison guards. They're going to walk up and down the fence as electrified. And, um, you know, when they get horny and they want some cock, you know, they'll go to one of the inmates and, uh, and say, uh, okay, I'm going off duty tonight. Uh, I want you here by 0800 hours. And uh, that's it. So, um, I, I really believe that that is the intention of these feminist cunts. And uh, I, I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. And it's, you know, and, and it's a whole bunch of other people. It's, you know, gays and lesbians and, you know, minority groups, especially minority groups, where I heard that in 2040... Maybe 45 white people will be a minority in the country that we founded, which is the United States of America. That is going to be very unacceptable. But I won't be around. I'll be dead and gone. And hopefully I'll be heading to a better place than this fucking world. Because, you know, I love America. I just don't like the direction it's going in with its lip, lip tart liberalism. Uh, now they want to cater to these Afghans, give them green cards and driver's licenses and food stamps and housing, more than what the average American gets. And this is totally fucked up that in America we take care of foreigners rather than taking care of Americans. And I don't know why this is. I'm not a political person. Uh, I'm more of a domesticated person. Like, I'm from the streets, you know? And I react to whatever is going on in the streets. But America has sold out to its own people. America has basically betrayed... Americans like myself and other white people um, to to cater to foreigners and not care about our needs and care about you know we do have needs just because we're white does that mean that we're um, well, yes, the, I mean, actually, uh, there are a lot of white people that are, you know, they got a lot of money. I mean, I could tell you I live, a, I live in, a, in, a, in an environment like that, in a town like that, where everybody seems to have 
They're rich, as a matter of fact. Fuck that. They're rich motherfuckers. But, uh, but that's New York. But in other states, there's like, what, 50 other states besides New York? And the need is, uh, I mean, these people are not rich. They're either farmers or they work in uh, industrial uh, situation. Uh, they're the backbone, they're uh, middle class, which is uh, not really existent, because the middle class, I'm sorry, I'm just doing something here, the middle class uh, is being, um, god damn it, I just hit my head on a fucking microphone, fuck this bullshit, the middle class, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't work. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, white people are just not being treated fairly today. And it's getting worse. And you have your Latishas out there. Your Latoyas out there. And uh, they're trying to get uh, political uh, influence. And I know that they have an agenda for the Latoyas and the Latishas out there. That they want to get so much power that they can actually have white people at their feet begging for, for mercy. You see, every group is what I'm trying to get, is that every group has an agenda, whether it's a political agenda or a social agenda. Uh, you know, it seems that everybody has a hard-on against the white man and the white woman. And... Uh, is so obvious by our world, uh, but these are well in the, in our America. But you know these changes, you could see them in big cities like San Francisco, New York City, um, L.A. Um, that these people don't represent the rest of the country. The rest of the country just wants to be left alone. Wants wants to do their farming, you know. They, uh, and they're not even getting appreciated for that. Um, there is no respect for the average American white person today. It, uh, you know, it's all about the, uh, the lip tarts and the, um, you know, the racism against white people. Um, you never get here in the news. Like I, I was reading an article that these two white people, a couple, were murdered by racist black people. And that was not put in the news. That's how unfair it is. This is, I mean, we're catering to all these minority people that at one time had no fucking power. Now all of a sudden, they're, they're climbing up the ladder, not just in rap music and movies and Hollywood, but also... You know, trying to be like attorney generals, like that Letitia, whatever, that gave Cuomo such a hard time. And and uh, and these other ones, like the mayor of Chicago, that piece of shit. And, uh, and uh, you know, all these cunt bitch minority motherfuckers. Uh, they have no business being in power. They can't even uh, get it together with their own people. They're animals, they're uncivilized, they commit crimes, they shoot people. Yes, there is a difference between decent people of black persuasion and the criminals and the thugs. But the mayors of these cities, these women, these attorney generals, are nothing but a bunch of fucking racist bitches. And they hate white people, and they're only in power to fuck white people. I guarantee you that. When you got a name like Leticia and like La Rwanda and Kakawaka and all that shit, you know, you're more in touch with your African heritage and fuck the white man and the white woman. That's racism right there. And who put these fucking people in office? The lip tarts did. Yeah. The white man and woman who are lip tarts, who are leftist liberal scumbag douchebags that don't believe in American values, who fuck the American farmer, who fuck the outdoorsmen, the real American 
Patriot, beware. Those are our real enemy. And they come sometimes in different colors.